Hello guys, I'm back after a while. So I uh I know it's been a while since I posted a video here, but uh uh been busy for a while. But uh, it's time now we looked at the most awaited software you guys have been waiting for. So what I want to do right now is I want to talk about a few things. So I want to talk about the software itself. I also want to talk about uh, what you should expect in terms of pricing and what you should be uh, uh, expecting when you start creating with this software. So first things first, let's talk about why this has taken a very long time to actually release. So this was supposed to be released somewhere around February there. And everybody actually waited for it, but due to some uh, inevitable problems, uh, the release date was changed. And hopefully it's, it will be coming out soon. So the purpose of me making this video is that so that I can let you know what you should be expecting before it's out. So let's talk about the pricing. As you can see here, we have several things. We have PHP Classic, PHP Rad View, Node Rad View, ESP Rad View, Pirate View. So these are all uh, considered as units except the PHP Classic. So these are separate ones. So one, two, three, four, all these are units. Now each unit is costing $199. Considering that it's coming with a capability to generate a single page application, progressive web application, mobile application that would be desktop and ios and a desktop application right so if you're more comfortable with php rad laravel you can buy this one for 199 dollars in case you need node rad you can buy this one for 199 dollars or just the same way it is in case you need all of them you can buy all of them but not to worry i'll be sharing a code below you can be using it to be buying your softwares so yeah now for the php at classic now this one you don't need to buy it again so the old key that you had you can also use it to activate this one so these units are activated individually right so you can have them but before then you can make a decision by using the trial period as you can see mine is 14 days remaining so you can use that trial period to actually test if this is what you actually want awesome so now let's go ahead and try an application maybe something I, I, I had tried to make so yeah as you can see nothing much has really changed so everything is still the same page events are still the same uh, there's nothing that has changed in your application so the only things that have changed is that since you're using Quasar when you go to page beamings you'll be able to uh, style uh, separate stuff individually, right? You can style them individually. So as you can see, the design is still the same. Nothing much has changed. Uh, but now the custom view has a new uh, framework, which is Quasar. So you actually get to build with Quasar, and this is how you actually get to build with Quasar. Not, nothing complicated, but you'll have to learn Quasar again. As you can see also, we added edit page JS in the same page, edit page CSS in the same page. So you can actually get to sell these pages individually instead of having to go to the custom CSS. If you need to add your JS, you can just add it here. So everything is looking just fine. Nothing has really changed. The authentication is still the same. Okay, you have to publish the project first. So uh, project settings are also the same. Yeah, you have added the, the option to select here. So without wasting too much time, let me go ahead and try and publish. So whenever you're trying to publish here, as you can see, we have a single page application, a progressive web application, a desktop app, and a mobile app. So you actually get to choose which one you need to generate your application. Other than that, you have the API platform. So in case you build your application in Laravel, in Laravel, you can just switch to Python without having to worry about it. And now the advantage to this is that it saves your projects inside a folder. So you see we have uh, PHP Red View projects here. And as you can see, we have PHP Red Classic projects, Node Red ESP, so it arranges your projects like that. So there's no way you're going to mix your uh, different framework projects in the same folder. So that is pretty much awesome. Now, this is how your application is generated. So everything is happening in a console. And it's pretty much awesome if you ask me. So you get your application running running on this server here. 
So you get to generate your application on a single page. Now, uh, because I want to make this video as short as possible, I'm going ahead to and explain if you are going to make a desktop application. So whenever you need to make a desktop application, let me go ahead and open this. So this is a project I'm trying to publish here. So PHP Ad allows you to do different stuff. So assuming you're making a project that will need you to be giving API services to another person. PHP Ad will allow you to do a published API documentation, which is stored inside your project folder. So if you come here and go to the API documentation here, you're going to get your documentation for the API right here. So whenever somebody needs to uh, access your API, you just need to give them your project, your API documentation, which they can in turn open and have access to, maybe be able to make uh, your applications depending on what you need. So I don't know why it's not opening, but it was opening a few minutes earlier. But because of that, let's just uh, go ahead and and open this. All right. So here we go. You actually get to have your API documentation right here. So just by clicking. Uh, Publish API documentation is going to generate your application and ready for shipping so that you can actually share your services with another person. All right, so we are waiting for this to see. Now, as you noticed here, so we are saying that PHP is able to make a mobile application desktop, all that stuff. So now, this is the API. So the API is what you are going to be hosting on your website or whatever you want to host it, and the front end is what you're going to bundle up a mobile app or a desktop app so whenever you click on front end so this is where you actually get to compile your application now assuming you have quasar installed so all you need to do is open your folder go here and just type cmd over there after you highlight it so whenever you type cmd it's just going to open this app now assuming you need to compile our mobile application to a desktop app so what you need to do is say quasar Okay, quiz a build, then you're going to enter mode, but you can just use an M and you're going to say electron. So if you learn this, what you're going to get is a application compiled to a desktop app. So I'm not going to run this because I've already run it. So it's going to create a folder called dist, right? And inside this dist is going to have the folder electron where you are going to have your executable application. So as you can see, you have the unpackaged application, and we have our packaged application. So this is what I build uh, for this tutorial. So once you click on your application, you can just make this a shortcut. Once you click on your application, it's going to open up your app for view. So you can do whatever you want to do with your application. So let's see. If... Okay, so our application is running on a browser. So let me go ahead and open it browser. So this is the application you're talking about, the desktop application. And this is our single page application here. Give it time. Nope. Now, before uh, this opens up, so you need to know something. You need to download some software. You need to download Node.js, Quasar, Framework. You need to download Laravel. And you need to install them globally. You also have you need, you need to have a Java SDK so that your application can be generated properly. That generally is nothing. So this is just an example project, so that you guys can actually get to see what you're talking about in this case. Well, all right. OK, 
Okay, so there we go. So it may take some time to get the API response from the application, but that is no problem. So yeah, here we go. So we have our desktop application. Now you can compile this to a mobile application, which we need you to have code over if it works. It's weird if it notices you don't have code over, it's also going to install that for you. So not to worry about that. So you need to install Node.js, Laravel, Composer, you also need Composer and all that stuff. So once this software is out, we'll start making uh, applications here. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll try to make more applications here and also maybe make a, a simple course for you. And that will be it. So once this software is released, try get the trial version, go through it, have some fun with it. And that will be it. You also notice that we have some few changes here. If we go to our risk page and go to design, let's go to tournament. Go here, we have something else. So you have something that I think is pretty awesome. Now once you publish this, when you're publishing this, it's going to take some time to, um, to unzip the node uh, files. Okay, so once that is unzipped, you don't have to worry about the unzipping again. So you just have to come here, track your changes, and once your changes are done, it's going to hotly load and open up your application back again here. So it's just going to reload automatically. As you can see, it's reloading. And if we go to tournaments here, what we just made, go to tournaments. Oh, it's still reloading. I want to show you how a model uh, a page doc looks like. Page draw, sorry. Okay, so there's a bug here, but not to worry, it will be fixed. So a page draw looks something like this. Don't worry about this, it will be fixed in due time. So this is how a page doc looks like. So you just uh, make your creations here, get your dates, and oh, you still load it, and you're good to go. All right, there you go. So for the page to appear in this version, you have to click on this. So yeah, that will be it for this one. And now the, a new feature that is added is that now this, let's say you need to search. You don't have to click enter, you just search and it goes automatically search. Have fun with it and uh, I'll see you when we start making the new videos guys. So thank you for sticking around.